How we doing? Just uh, giving my first try at uh, this uh, YouTube exam. So uh, yeah, here we go. Um, so the importance of everyone working together and executing every position in the studio. Um, you can't step away. Nobody can just take, you know, a break or like walk away from their position. You need camera operators. You need everyone from, you know, camera operators to a director to be focusing in because it is, uh, it is a joint effort. Um, if, uh, let's say the VTR operator, um, relays something to, uh, your technical director and your technical director who alternates the video sources doesn't throw that up on the screen. Although one person did their job because somebody else didn't, the show cannot go on or it's not going to be, you know, good. So uh, it's really important to always uh, be on the same page uh, with everyone and uh, and be actually, you know, trying when you're there. Um, yeah, you definitely should not uh, lackadaisically go about the studio. Uh, everyone, it's a, uh, it's a symbiotic relationship in the studio. Uh, when one person does well, it helps other people do well, but when one person doesn't do well, it, it hinders the... It, the collection as a whole. Um, now, defining all the roles, I'll start with the camera operators. Those are pretty uh, self-explanatory, but uh, operator one usually focuses on the host. Oper or camera three focuses on the talent, and camera two gets the two shot of them. Uh, camera one and two should be squared up to the talent and or one and three should be squared up to the host while two splits them evenly uh, allowing some headroom as well um, then we'll uh, go to director I guess directors just the the shot caller they have every bit of power in the studio um, people should be following their moves not uh, p uh, them following other people's moves so even if they do mess up or maybe say something out of turn, you should still follow them uh, because they'll be calling the shots for the rest of the time. And uh, that's everything from mics to, you know, pre-show rundowns uh, to uh, switching video sources, uh, calling audio, turning off and on. Um, it's everything. The assistant director keeps time for the program, so uh, most of the people in the studio, or not in the studio, but in the uh, control room can hear him or her, but um, essentially they, you know, they just keep time, you know, for everybody because it's really important to stay on time. You only have a certain amount of time. You have promised time to other people in the, uh, who are a part of the program and you need to stick to it. The teleprompter uh, types the scripts and scrolls through them as the talent and host read them. The lighting director turns on the lights before the show, uh, makes uh, lighting adjustments during or between like commercial breaks of the show as well. The audio engineer um, is a uh, is actually a pretty large role. Uh, you you re without sound it wouldn't be a program at all. Um, so you need to control the mics for the talent and host. You need to control the sound for the VTR. You need to control CD playback. And you need to also, you know, do crossfading in between to make it sound, you know, um, aesthetically pleasing and not just abrupt and, and ugly. The technical director um, alternates video sources, whether it's camera one, two or three, whether it's, um, you know, your black, your bars, your VTR, um, commercial breaks, um, anything. So that's where your uh, technical director sits and he needs to, uh, or he or she, needs to always be listening for uh, what the director is calling out um, because, well, video is probably the most important piece. Um, the operations control panel makes necessary adjustments to the cameras um, through uh, from the control room, so white balancing, um, adjusting the iris, uh, just making sure that the three cameras are uh, 
equally exposed and that you're getting the uh, a consistent shot between all three cameras. In the back room you've got playback and VTR. Uh, VTR they uh, is essentially the same role and what they do is uh, they load and uh, uh, press play on uh, small clips we have that um, come through as our commercial breaks or uh, or moments in between. Um, it's one of the easier jobs in the studio. However, because you're separate from the rest of the group, it's uh, it can be a, a bit tough to stay. Make sure you're you're on time with them, and make sure you're not missing anything. And uh, lastly. What have you learned about studio production at this point in the semester? I mean, I've learned that it's a lot of fun, honestly. Um, aside from knowing, I mean, I knew what cameras did, okay? I figured there was a director, okay? I figured there was an audio person in the lighting. However, the VTR operator, no idea. Um... The operation, or no, it's not operations control, I'm sorry. It's a technical director who does the video sourcing switches. I would have never, you know, guessed how, how hard that is, honestly. And, uh, yeah. Oh, the uh, technical director also um, controls uh, C, uh, CG, so for the earlier part as well. But nonetheless... Um, yeah, I've learned uh, how fun it is and how fast-paced, and uh, it's a it's a team effort, and that makes it a lot of fun. Uh, I'm an audio guy. I work alone. I like to. It gives me the final say, but there is no final say when it comes to, you know, uh, making a newscast or like a, a short thing like that. There is no just one person says it all, although the director calls the shots. Everyone can make the show unique, you know, because they all control a certain portion you know, of the show. Uh, and I think that's really important and really fun. It makes the class dependent on others, which you don't get that a lot, you know, and it, it's tough to depend on others. It really, it really is, especially with grades. Um, but ha having a good class and knowing that everybody steps up, does their part with a smile on their face too, it's helpful. So, uh, yeah, that's, um, uh, that is my video. Thanks for tuning in and, uh, see you guys soon.